Hello, I'm Atuba George and I have got lots and lots of things to share with you. I'm just praying that the Spirit of God will help us because of the time. We, we try to uh, make this video as short as possible but to communicate God's truth. You know, I was sharing something yesterday that don't think that coronavirus just came out of the blues or you know some people are coming up with stories men are men conspired you know to bring this thing this one or the, listen to me wherever it came from is not the issue the issue should be what is the lord saying to his children right now see and i was praying i think i shared that in the video i, I sent out two saturdays ago i was praying and then Asking the Lord, Lord, how, how, how come you, you've not even said anything to me about this coronavirus? And then the word of the Lord came to me. See, see, he will always speak. And guess what? He didn't talk to me about coronavirus. He told me, listen, the answer to the season is what Jesus said in John chapter 3. That if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. And I began to look at that scripture again and, and meditate on it. And light began to come. See, Jesus said, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And that word must came out. It, 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 you know when you're looking at scriptures and then the word just jumps out to you. The word must jumped out to me. He said must, meaning this is surely going to happen. The whole world will come to that point where they will realize Jesus is the only answer. There is no other answer that there is. And then it's left to call upon him and leave or refuse to call upon him and they die. But everyone will get to that place where they see that Jesus indeed is Lord. Praise God. So, so you see, God word to us is what we should be focusing on right now it's not about who prophesied it or who didn't prophesy it <laughs> no it's not, that's none of your business you prophesied it okay so what's the remedy you know i know you know, i was sharing with some, a few brethren a few, a few days ago and i said look i know that this year started in an unusual manner i was restless in my spirit for many weeks in January. You know, getting from December into January, I've been asking, I said, Lord, what's your plan for this year? And the Lord was just quiet about it. And after praying for weeks, and all the Lord said to me was, listen, focus your mind, your teachings, and everything this year about the knowledge of me. And then he gave me the reason for that. He said, because this year, you will need a lot of courage to stand. And then, it is the people who know their God that will be courageous. I said, okay, thank you, sir. And I began to meditate on that. I began to teach on that. I, everywhere I spoke, I was, that, was, that was what I was talking about. And then when these things began to spread all over the world, then I realized the strength that the Lord has infused into me and into everyone that's around me. We don't talk about coronavirus. We, we don't talk about it. Why? Because there's a strength that the Lord has given to us that we're carrying even in this season. Praise God. Now, let me show you something. Luke chapter 21. Jesus spoke here. He says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. Did you see that? Jesus, after describing things that are going to happen in the earth. You can read that from somewhere from verse, you know, from verse 10 or verse 8. You can begin to read. But, but this is where he concluded in this chapter. He says, watch ye therefore. What does it mean to watch? It's not only to sit and be watching TV, watching the news and watching everything. That's not what watching means. Watch means listening. That's what it means. Watch what I am saying. Listening to what I am saying. When Jesus said, watch therefore. What's he saying? Listen. Pay attention. 
Are you getting what I'm saying? Because, see, when he speaks, he's not going to speak on the TV. He's going to speak right in our hearts. I tell people when the trumpet is going to sound, it's not a sound that will sound and then the whole world will turn their ears and be looking up. The sound of the trumpet will be in our hearts. Praise God. Now, now, watch this. Watch it, therefore, and pray always. And what's the prayer point? He gave us the prayer points. What's the prayer point? That you may be accounted worthy. Meaning, someone is going to do the selection of those who are worthy. So Jesus said, watch and pray. Listen and pray that you will be accounted worthy to do what? Escape all these things. He just listed many things that are going to happen. And then he said, pray. This is your prayer point, that you will be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. They are all going to come to pass, but some people are going to be taken away before they come to pass. It says, where are they being taken to? He says, and to stand before the Son of Man. So he says, watch that you are taken away from all these things before they come to pass. And then that you are kept where? Where you will stand before the Son of Man. Now, he's not talking about you dying here. He wasn't talking about death. You know why I know? Because those that have died are not standing before the Son of Man. No, they are not. Because the Son of Man is alive. He is not dead. So there is no way the Son of Man who is alive, who will, will, dead people will be standing before him. So here, Jesus was saying, watch, listen, and pray that you will be raptured before these things come to pass. I've got to stop here. But listen, I've just given you something to dwell on. Meditate on this. Look at this scripture. Luke chapter 21 verse 26. Look at it. Look at it until it hits your spirit. That should be your concern right now. Praise God. I'll continue tomorrow. Bye-bye.